welcome to this review of Italieri's H130J Hercules 2 and 1 for the F scale. The kit comes with three different marking options. One from USA, one from Great Britain and one from Italy. The kit number is 2643. On the side you can see the two other marking options. The color callout is for the Model Master range. As always some information about the aircraft in the instructions. Then we have all the sprues and color callout. Let's zoom a little closer. It starts with the front landing gear and the cockpit. Then it continues with the inner body section of the fuselage. Followed by all the side windows. Now the fuselage comes together. The landing gear and its doors get added. All the stabilizers and wings go on, followed by the engines. At last, all the lumps and bumps with the tanks. The decal callout for the US Air Force. The Italian Air Force. and the Royal Air Force. Now to the decals. They look okay. The carrier film is very thin and almost not noticeable. They are nice and sharp printed and should go on pretty good. Now to the kit itself. The whole kit has raised panel lines, but you could easily sand and rescribe them. The link for this tutorial is on the upper right corner.
excuse me for the light changing on this video, but this kit was so big that the camera constantly focused wrong when I hold the parts closer to the cam. Just the fuselage without the front cockpit and nose section is already 45 cm long. What a beast! The detail is ok and I can't see any injector pins like the Super Stallion from Academy had in this area. Look at this vertical stabilizer. It is as big as my whole hand. Ok, here we have some sink marks on the seats and the door. The tires look ok. The landing gear has some join lines, just a quick sanding. The detail is ok. And again some join lines. The cockpit detail looks ok too. Some injector pins but maybe they get covered with the seats. The instrument panel looks very nice in my opinion. Now I noticed that the injector pins get more and more. Also the seam lines.
Let's have some light flash on the parts. Oh, and it gets more flash on the parts. Those two fell off the sprue. and more flash and sink marks on the parts. That kit will need some time and effort. Now the front section. It was so heavy that it fell off the sprue as I turned it. The window section seems a little bit out of shape. Hopefully, the clear part fits in nicely. A big lump. next to the clear parts. They look overall okay. Now my clear test. Not a hundred percent, but a ninety-five percent. Very nice. Okay, forget the small windows. Can't see through them at all. Please subscribe to my channel and or share my videos. Thanks for watching.